Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Blender tutorial. I've been trying to think of a name for this series, and I had settled on simple tutorials, but then I realized that you can shorten it to Simptuts, and I'm not sure if that's funny or cringe, but we're gonna go with it for now, and um, it just has to be this way. You guys will find out that my sense of humor pretty much consists entirely of cringe. I watch many a cringe video in my free time. I enjoy them way too much, and uh, maybe you'll, you'll get to know that side of me more as we go on here. But anyway, we're back with a modeling video on a Waddle D Amiibo. Yes, we are still in the Amiibo series. I'm thinking of branching out soon. I had some ideas for some cool little 3D vignettes, sort of 3D style dioramas. If you're familiar with Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, the best 2D platformer ever made, you can collect these 3D vignettes and they're just super fun and playful and I don't know exactly how detailed mine will be because I want to try to get these videos out in a timely fashion. It has been two weeks since my last upload. Uh, classes have been very busy, but uh, hopefully you guys understand. But I think those would be something really fun to make, so let me know if you'd be interested in seeing those. Obviously they can still feature characters and another thing they allow me to do is reuse some assets, <laughs> which Hopefully it doesn't bother people, but if you follow my Instagram, which you definitely should, link in the description, I have been milking these Kirby characters really hard, uh, just reusing the models in creative ways, I think, learning some image compositing. The one that really blew up was Hollow Knight Kirby. That one was a lot of fun. I did get that from someone else's drawing on Reddit, but I also gave them credit, but I want to do more stuff like that. Really, um, the, what I try to do with these videos is to just make things that I know people will enjoy seeing or things that people wish existed but, ha but don't, which is kind of the idea I had going into this Amiibo series. I share all my renders to Reddit before I post these videos and everyone on Reddit was super pumped about seeing a Bandana Waddle D Amiibo and then <laughs> there were a couple people uh, who were just kind of politely wondering, hey, you know, this is kind of cool, but what is the hype behind this character? And to be totally honest, I told him I'm kind of in the same boat. I don't really get it. I love Kirby, but yeah, Bandana D, it doesn't seem like it has the most personality or anything. Don't, don't come after me, but I fully understand how much people want this character represented more, especially in Smash Bros. So I felt the need to make an amiibo out of him. And also, uh, I've just been on a Kirby kick. It's They're easy to model. <laughs> they're easy to pose. Making the face decals is, is not hard. And they look really nice. Uh, they look like toys. And they're very expressive. So I love to do little vignettes of them. But I don't want to tire you guys out on Kirby. Especially if you're over on my Instagram. Again, link in the description. Follow me there. The Hall Jokes Society actually is a great place to stay updated on content and just see things, you know, before they go up. I've got a lot of exciting announcements coming up regarding 3D printing and 3D printing files. A lot of you guys have been asking about that in the, in the comments, wondering, you know, can we get these files to print or are you selling these anywhere? And the answer is, don't tell anyone, maybe yes soon. <laughs> the answer is yes. Uh, it's still in progress what i'm planning on doing is launching a patreon soon where you know you just pay a reasonable monthly fee and you just get access to all of my project files all of the stls i make these optimized for 3d printing so you just download the file you can print it without having to edit anything that does take a little longer i tend to do that after i finish the entire video so you may have to wait a little bit longer on that because really as soon as i get the video done i just want to get it out to you guys so that you don't have to wait any longer um because you know i'm already busy as is i got a ton of projects going on and uh again over my instagram if you're curious about what those projects are you can check that out there and it's been a lot of fun and you know the response to these videos has just been so encouraging so much cool stuff has happened like i got in touch if you saw with um if you saw my Super Meat Boy Amiibo video uh, on Reddit, one of the social media people for Meat Boy messaged me uh, about my video, which was super cool because, you know, 
when I was a kid, Super Meat Boy, I think, was the first indie game I ever played. And, you know, just being able to interact with these people as a fan is just really cool. And also, my first video that I uploaded, the Chubby Snow video, uh, recently I was able to confirm through a close friend of mine that the devs had in fact seen my video and loved it. And I even got on their Discord and got to chat with them for a little bit and they were super awesome. And, you know, YouTube's a funny thing, man. It's, it's, it's crazy how I went from just uploading a video on a whim to like talking to the creators of the game. So, you know, I'm just super excited about all these connections and, you know, it's thanks to you guys. It's thanks to you guys for, for watching and liking and commenting and you guys have been very interactive and you know i've got some regulars in the comments down there which is super cool and i yeah i, I just wish i could upload more uh, again that's why i like instagram god it's like i'm sponsored by instagram or something really uh it's just the best place to stay updated with me more frequently i'm not really that active on other social media i i, I post to reddit a lot but i mean you probably don't want to follow me on reddit because you know i post to like seven subs each post so again instagram is the place to be and you know i'll respond to messages i respond to comments uh so yeah if you want to be a part of it over there uh, again link in the description okay that's the last time i'm saying that jesus christ you guys are probably so annoyed <laughs> that all i've done this video is uh is plug my instagram but i promise that's it just wanted to get that across you know first video that i'm i'm really mentioning it and you know i'm posting more consistently now but uh yeah i i uh it's been good. It's been good. Life's been busy, but that's been good. And I hope you guys have been good too. And I just hope to make more stuff for you guys. Speaking of which, I mentioned doing 3D dioramas earlier in this video, and I had another idea for another form of content where I could take album covers and convert them into something 3D and animate them. And kind of the same idea as the diorama, but obviously with an album cover. And I think that could be really cool. So if you guys do want to see anything like that, you know, drop what games you want to see for the, the dioramas in the in the comments and drop what albums you'd like to see in 3D. Uh, preferably something graphic, something that you think would translate well to 3D. Um, like, you know, uh, Pink Floyd, like Dark Side of the Moon type of thing would be really good in 3D. So, you know, stuff like that. And uh, I'll try to make those happen. Those, uh, it's something I really want to do. I kind of want to expand the topics that I cover in my videos because right now I think it's it's very niche, which is good because you know people who are interested in it will see it, and a lot of people get a kick out of it. And I just I love that aspect of it. It feels a lot more like one on one, um, you know, community based. But you know, I also want to make stuff that a lot of different people can enjoy, and I think music is always a great way to do that you know maybe these 3d album covers could turn into almost like a music visualizer if i if i synced it up to a song somehow so you know all sorts of ideas <laughs> are on the table here i'm even messing with compositing 3d over real footage now a little bit i'm still super new at that so you probably won't see that in a video anytime soon but yeah just basically everything's on the table right now if i can uh if i can figure it out um, so with that, you know, really this video is just me being a little more candid, being a little more casual. I would love to hear your thoughts on the state of the channel in the comments. You know, what kind of content you want to see? Does anything I mentioned sound interesting? And, you know, I'm just going to keep creating. I'll be right here and just know that I appreciate all your support. Oh, and mini update. I almost forgot. We hit 150 subscribers today. And the final few were some of the devs from Mission in Snowdrift Land. So that was just a really cool way to, uh, to reach that milestone, especially because uh, obviously that was the topic of my first video. So I just wanted to mention that and say a huge thank you. I can't believe we've already reached that milestone after just, what, like four videos. So thank you guys so much. And that, that's all for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.